grew up in North Carolina, kind of moving all around, and never felt like I had roots. And so when I moved to South Carolina, I started asking around, you know, about the family history and things like that. And there's always been this little rumor, you know, that we were related to one of the governors. Well, I started asking more about it and got really interested in my own genealogy. And my great aunt, Mary Richardson Briggs, actually, her and her husband, who are some sort of cousins, so he's Richardson also, still live on, I think, the only acreage that's still left from the original King's Grant, land grant, that the General Richardson got back in the, I'd say, mid-1700s. So I thought, well, if she doesn't know, then nobody's going to know. And I went to visit, and growing up, I always knew about them as Uncle Jimmy and Aunt Mary, but I never knew anything about them. So I started going down to visit, down you know, towards Manning, Somerton, and lo and behold, she had all of these notebooks full of newspaper clippings, photographs, music. She would write little notes in the, you know, margins of copies and things like that, and I was just fascinated. I've always loved old pictures, and when she started telling me the history, I thought, why haven't I ever heard any of this before. You can picture her living a hundred years ago. That's just, you know, everybody was smaller back then, but she was just dainty. But at the same time, you knew that she was probably a tomboy all the way. She was never materialistic that I you could ever tell. Um, just bare bones as far as what she needed. Um, but the first couple of times I went down to visit, you know, it was always big hug, kiss, and offered you a drink, offered you dinner, practically glued you to the chair to stay for dinner, you know, just southern hospitality all the way. I always noticed the amount of energy that she had, and it was just contagious. I'll never forget how her laugh sounded. I mean, and she would just, you know, do the knee slap thing and say, come here, darling, and, and all of that all the way. But when she would get to the piano bench, she might as well not have the bench to sit on because you could just almost see her like hovering because she was so into it and every once in a while it's almost like she'd do a little bounce across the seat because she got so into the music. And you look around and, and everybody's, you know, you can't help but tap your feet. Even playing the waltz just now on the computer, I was, you know, tapping and thinking about it. And even sitting in church with her playing the organ, it was still that same feeling. It's just her energy just went right through to the keys of the piano. When it came to music, there wasn't any anything held back. And that was the, you know, just the personality trait that everybody knew about her. So even now I can travel around down in Manning or Somerton down in that location and, you know, as soon as I say, well, did you know Mary Briggs? Oh, yes, we took dance lessons from her or our daughter took piano lessons, you know. That type of thing. I just wish that I had been around this part of the country longer so that I could have spent more time with it.